Hello and welcome to my stream. So right now I'm testing out Soul Calibur 6 and I am testing out my microphone as well. I've been having some issues off and on all day. I think Windows is automatically updating my USB driver, <laughs> which is not a good idea in this case because it needs to be my blue Soul snowball. Soul Calibur 6. Stick with the program, as they say. Okay. So we're gonna go into Soul Calibur. I haven't played this in about a year or so. I think there is a campaign. Let's check. Yes. Libra of Soul. Kafka! Oh boy. Last updated July 29th, 2020. So I haven't played in a couple of years. Oops. Well, I'm guessing I got stuck for a reason. A hammer to metal. The trial ahead. So my style is Voldo. Okay, okay. I don't want any food. Let's just start the match. As the roof of Bolt's smithy finally came into view, I could hear the rhythmic sound of a hammer on iron. Bolta. Dot dot dot. I stepped into the back room and saw Bolta working a sword on the anvil. I called out, but she didn't notice me. I watched her work for a while, and at last she quenched the red-hot blade in a nearby barrel of water and took a deep breath. Bolta. How long have you been there, Kafka? You should have said something. Come to check in on me. When I told her that the rumors going around the city bothered me, she grinned. Bolta. Oh, that. You think I'm weird too? After Bolta had gathered the iron sand from the salt flats, she had extolled its quality to the local lord. Soon after, other smiths in need of iron began flocking to the site. Bolta. It's still lost for me. The Lord thanked me for the information and gave me permission to gather iron there wherever I wanted. Plus, if the other smiths in Kashgar are using good materials, the whole city's reputation goes up, right? Besides, nobody else would be jealous for no good reason either. So relax, I pride myself on my technique. Even if the iron's the same, the results aren't. Still have some doubts, huh? Well, let's put them to rest. I want to enter the sword in the exhibition, but I need to check its balance. Let's give it a few swings. That'll prove it's worth, right? Good. Then come with me. So I'm guessing I fight her with said sword. Keep going and going and going. Battle one. Fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot how ridiculous Kafka is. Like you've got some work to do on that there sword. Yeah, that seems good. You agree, right? When I visited the shop a few days later, Bolta greeted me ecstatically. Bolta, huzzah! The weapon I turned in passed the first round of inspection. It's all thanks to you, Kafka. But this is where it gets serious. I'll be squaring off against Yashin soon. I could use more of your help if you got the time. I promised Bolta I'd do whatever I could before leaving her shop. Uh. Okay. 
Ashgar has leveled up. I have some gold. Bono scissors. How does that compare to what I've got? since I've actually looked at my weapons. So it looks like I have Tofana Scissors already. Let's go to Bolta Smithy. Haha! <laughs> Decapitator. But seems to me like I can't use it yet. It's a pain. Okay. Cash car shop. our location. That was the goal. I don't want to do the dojo. Okay. Let's do Merchants of the Wetlands. The Bandit's Leader. Check out the dog a shot first. Oh lord, no. That's severely under leveled. Whoa. Pila? Sure, I'll buy myself some Pila. Why not? Okay. Ring house disabled. Oh, poo. I can't use my signature move. It was sunset as I was walking through the city with Maharshi. The number of people dwindled as we moved toward the outskirts. Kafka, you said you had something you wanted to speak to me about away from prying ears. Surely this is far enough. Suddenly the thump of dozens of footsteps echoed around us. I thought I would have time to share what I had learned with Maharshi, but the enemy moved faster than I had anticipated. Forgive me, but I'm afraid that discussion won't be happening. Lila? The woman smiled, her teeth glinting dangerously in the light of the setting sun. Please don't think ill of me. I thought I would be able to let you live. Uh-oh. So am I fighting Lila or am I fighting a generic bandit? Who is Lila? Who? What? Where? When? Why? I am fighting a general bandit. But he's done up like a helix. Why do we have a demon voice? Oh no. Good thing he moves. Fight! Okay. What? Oh. 
if I had more of a challenge. I would have run you out a long time ago if it wasn't just angry. <laughs> I like Goldo a little too much. Oh, now I get to fight Lila. Oh, but she's level 22. Oh, they wore down my health meter. The soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. I demand a rematch. Okay, so the bandit is here to wear me down first. He's actually doing a half a decent job. Oops, come Hit. Oh. Oh no 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 Shit. <laughs> the soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. Alright. Take the gloves off. Go! Oh. 
always here to rest. We're not giving up on the mission yet. Now let's kick Lila's ass. Out of here now just as I was about to subdue Lila she gave a cry and her lackeys scattered it was you all this time then the attack on your card entirely staged of course my but you're awfully naive to be in your position control the flow of goods manipulate prices and earn profit a rather simple plan for any merchant it's a sound idea to be certain but you'd have to invest a lot up front to reap any rewards a merchant of your resources could never... Never mind that. You've caught me. So what will you do with me? Let her go or arrest her. I'm gonna arrest her. Fortunately, no one has died directly because of the attacks, but the bandits cutting off the road caused the city a great deal of harm. Lila had to answer for her involvement in that crime. As I was talking to Maharshi, the sound of hooves drew near. Large bandit. Madam, over here! Some of the brigands that fled earlier had returned on horseback. Their leader leaned down and offered a hand to Lila. Oh, you're quick today. Stop! Lila moved like lightning and seemed to almost fly into the saddle. Don't fret, my dears. I won't be attacking this city again. I was looking for a chance to change ventures anyway. Lila gave us a quick grin from atop her horse. The woman and her band vanished into the dusk. The bandits attacks ceased for a while after that and the repairs to the road progressed slowly but steadily. Perhaps Lila truly intended to keep her promise. up their offerings. That's okay. Uh-uh. 
five rings, a letter for Ravon. Yes. Zihan asked me to take a letter to his old friend Ruan to request his help, but only kicks and throws are effective. Hmm, interesting. Zion's shop was in a bustling commercial district near the harbor. I imagined that a front for a criminal organization would be tucked out of sight, but it was a large building facing a broad street. Oh, if it isn't Kafka, it's nice to see you again. Welcome. After we had caught up, Zihan had took a letter from his coat. Would you be willing to do a job for me? I'd like you to deliver this to an old man in Bruan who lives outside of town. He's a former soldier who used to be our most skilled man. He's retired now, but he's smart, and with his help I could turn the city around. Are you willing to assist me? I arrived at the location Zihan told me about, and was surprised to find a splendid manor. It seemed Bruan was a man of taste as well as ability. What's your business with me? Oh, the boy sent you. The old man's face grew dark as he read the letter. Hmm, Kong Wing went missing, did he? The boy wants me to help him run the shop and clean up town? Ruan's eyes shifted to me. His kind, grandfatherly expression had been replaced by a sharp, calculating stare. In our line of work, a business is only as good as the one who runs it. People might lend you their strength, but unless you have the brains to use it, it'll go nowhere. I won't waste my time on someone who doesn't have what it takes, even if it is the boy. With that, the old man's smile returned. But he must have had a reason to send a stranger like you to convince me to help, right? And if that reason is a good one, perhaps I will lend a hand. For example, maybe you're a warrior with enough skill to entice me, hmm? What'd you think? Fighting room. Only kicks and throws are effective. admit I did you a disservice by underestimating you. You've proven yourself to me. I'll have to trust in the boy's intuition. He has my help, at least for a time. Ruan sank deep into thought. Let's start off by visiting a few notable citizens to collect funds. After that, we'll see who remains in the organization and get them properly trained. Of course, the boy will have to work on his image, too, in order to keep Lin Pei's gang on their toes. I was certain I would be hearing more of Zihan's complaints. Level 28. I could do Bounty for Scoundrels. I accepted a request to eliminate a blackguard who was troubling the area. Apparently, the brute had already defeated a number of mercenaries and bounty hunters. Bring out disabled. Lame. But okay. Yes. This'll hurt. 
in your body. Alright, so we're going to continue my expedition in search of strength. A worthy opponent awaited me at the end of my journey. With our pride as warriors at stake, we began our battle. Ah, slippery stage. I see how it is. too fast. Boundary issues, yes. I assume that's related to the number of ring outs I've had. We can check this. We have the technology. Ah, uh, Knock your opponent out of the ring 20 times. Must be outside of training mode. Yep, I done got that one. Got me some brandy. Cool, 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 cool. 
Let's continue our expedition and go to the letter of Felhong. I think I'm doing a bunch of side quests at this point. The Five Rings, a letter for Feihong. Xeon's next letter was from Feihong, but the man had already received an offer from the Silver Tigers. Low attacks. Okay. The Ming Empire had fallen into turmoil in recent years, and hiring guards had become the norm among merchants. However, there were some among those guards who would immediately turn on their clients once they were outside the safety of the city. This was not the case in Yangguang. Even guards hired outside of official channels performed their duties without fail. Apparently, this was because of a man named Fei Hong, who had organized all the guards unaffiliated with any crime syndicates. Zihong planned to revitalize his organization by allying himself with Fei Hong. He gave me a letter and sent me to meet the man. What? Damn it all, I lost again! One more round, come on! You shouldn't. You're no good at this, Fei Hong. Near the castle gates, I found a man excitedly playing dice with his fellow mercenaries. It had to be Fei Hong. Well, if no one wants to play... Hey you! How about a round or two? The man suddenly turned to address me, though I thought I had approached unnoticed. I turned down his offer and delivered the letter. When I said I had come on behalf of Zihan to propose an alliance, Fei Hong furrowed his brow. That puts me in a bind. I received a similar offer recently. Lin Pei the Jackal himself came to see if we could strike a deal. He said there was a pile of money for me so big it would make my eyes pop out of my head. Young Zeon can't do better than that, can he? Hold on, though. To be fair, though, money isn't everything. Nasty work is still nasty work, no matter how you're paid. A man like me needs to enjoy life. So, friend, what do you think? Can Zeon provide me with some fun? Hmm? What sort of things do I find fun? Fei Hong's lips curved into a wicked grin as he locked eyes with me and assumed a fighting stance. Things like having a bout with someone who can give me a real challenge. Ah, uh, yes. Somebody with underdone, underclassed weapons. Low level weapons against you. But what level are you gonna be, Fei Hong? Battle one. 28. Fight. Okay, so he's evenly matched. <laughs> Whoa. That was devastating, bruh. Aha. <laughs> it is something of a tradition of mine to go off the ring after my opponent. Never before. Whoa, were you alright, Fei Hong? Ha ha ha! Exactly what I wanted. It's a deal. I'll work with Zeon. Just promise we can do this again sometime. Oh, I'll come with you. Hey, get in line. I'm going to sign up with Zeon first. These hired swords seem to have a strong sense of camaraderie. Now that Fei Hong was working with Zihan, it would be easier to find more men to help keep the peace in town, which in turn would help Yang Guang prosper even further. Shimazu Clan Tournament, Round 1. The Shimazu, a clan in southern Kyushu famous for their martial art prowess, were holding a tournament. Okay. I saw a crowd gathered around a town bulletin board. I asked what the commotion was about and was told that the Shimazu Clan 
rulers of Satsuma province were looking for warriors who could display their prowess in a private tournament. You look pretty tough. Anyone's welcome to join. Go on and give it a shot. It won't cost you anything. Wanting to test myself, I signed up and was immediately assigned my first match. I made my way to the specified arena. Okay. This one's gonna be fairly straightforward. A singular level 8 opponent should be easy peasy. Battle 1. Fight! <laughs> second round of the Shimatsu Clans tournament, and the air was filled with sounds of clashing metal. After I won my first bout, another opponent was sent to face me. Whoa, you really won? Way to go! Alright then, I'm cheering for you, for you from now on. Turning away from my soul fan to concentrate on my opponent, I assumed a ready stance. in your body. I am now level 29. Okay, there's a third round. Sparks flew as darting blades clashed at the Shimazu clan's tournament. It was time for round three. I made it through the second match, and a third opponent was called to fight me. The number of spectators was growing. The person I was up against also had the skill to make it this far. I would have to stay focused and aware. We bowed to each other and readied our weapons. Not even 
I'm using my soul gauge. Stop stomping me. Actually supposed to be a knockout, but hey. Semi-finals. Okay. Warrior's eyes were as sharp as their blades at the Shimazu clan's tournament. I had made it to the semi-finals. I had fought my way into the semi-finals. Spectators thronged the area, cheering for their favorite fighters. I've been rooting for Kafka from the start. Heck, I'm the one who told her to join the tournament! It seemed I had attracted no small number of admirers. With their shouts to spur me on, I readied myself. Alright, the final bout. It was do or die at the Shimazu clan's tournament. The stage was set for the finale. In a group of important looking samurai, Shimazu clan retainers sat on a row of stools by the arena waiting for the match to begin. It was time for the final fight of the tournament. I had come this far. I took on a fighting stance determined to win. Yes, determined. Give it! 
The judge called the fight, and the crowd roared. I was the victor. The samurai seated near the center of the group stood and walked over to me. That was a marvelous display of skill. If the Lord wishes to hire you if you are not bound to another, what say you? I declined, stating that I was on a personal mission. The old samurai sighed and handed me a heavy sack of coins as a reward. With someone like you with us, alas. Send word if you have a change of heart. The gates of the Shimazu clan remain open to you. This is a fat sack. We're going to continue this expedition in search of strength. A worthy opponent awaited me at the end of my journey. With our pride as warriors at stake, we began our battle. so short. Your soul surges in your body. Continue expedition. scornfully at me and challenged me to battle. If I win, I would be rewarded handsomely. Okay. The King's Fool. <laughs> so we're just gonna artificially bump up my experience here. With your pants. And what is with your shirt? Oh my god. Oh, they did say he was the pink school. <laughs> oh, that was so fast. And a perfect. So I should get max reward. 2750. My goal is stacking up. Oh. A worthy opponent awaited me at the end of my journey. With our pride as warriors at stake, we began our battle. Fight! Not much of 
backstory, eh? Shit. that again. Don't you ring me out. You do not get to ring me out. I get to ring myself out! <laughs> the soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. Okay, we're gonna try that again. where I need to be, dude. Bandit leads out of nowhere to block my path. I had no choice but to fight. Wow, such conviction, Kafka.
A worthy opponent awaited me at the end of my journey. With our pride of warriors at stake, we began our battle. Again? Okay. Assassin. Ah, yes, another in search of strength. We're just padding out my experience points here. A decapitator, but gosh, I just don't know. Alright. Oh, that's right. No.
to your quest. Maybe it was Kashgar. No. It's all level 16 shit. Go to Smithy. Decapitator. Let's do the bounty request. Kafka, there you are. I have a small errand for you. Please, have a seat. Zeon greeted me with a wide smile as I opened the door to the shop. He had been expecting me for some reason. Had you he have you heard of the Shinobi? They are sort of clandestine operatives from Japan. That land was divided into warring provinces for many years, and the Shinobi operated in the shadows. Well, there's a group using Shinobi techniques here in order to sow chaos in the main empire. They have formed a little cabal, and I have gotten into the business of robbery. It is quite a mess to clean up, really. The authorities have demanded my assistance in that, but nobody wants to pit themselves against people who can fight like devils and have an endless bag of tricks. That's when I was struck by the light of inspiration. You, Kafka. I know I can trust you, and you can handle yourself. I'll even add a bonus to the Lord. Help me out, will you? Zeon pressed four bounty notices for the band of thieves. The Nekomata gang into my hands and ushered me out of the shop. Okay. So am I fighting four people? Okay. I see. Begin. Explore. I read the fourth bounty notice Sihan had given me. Shinanome, boss of the Nekomata gang. It seemed this Shinanome was holed up at a hideout in a trading port. Interesting choice of makeup. Oh, your weapon's not very powerful, bud. And you don't have any slots of clips. Ah! You're gonna be a piece of cake, man. Absolute piece of cake. Battle one. Fight. <laughs> Oh! 
Kani noticed Sihan had given me. Tasuke and Rin, a pair of vagabonds pretending to be husband and wife. It seemed they had been spotted along a road to the north. Alright. I didn't even notice what weapons he had. Nekamata Gang, Tama, the Black Magic Sorceress. I read the second bounty notice Sion had given me. Tama, a woman who uses black magic to manipulate corpses. It seems she was lurking in the mountains to the west. Unless soul charged. Oh crap. Mary Mantis. Baby tax. AVK. That's XYB. 
remaining. Oh god, I have to do it again. Okay.
now lays here to rest. Be kidding me. in your body. Looks like we're doing all the side missions today.